All right, hello everyone. Um, it's Melody here. I just wanted to show a, um, a place to two piece order. This is actually my first one, and I'm so excited. I won um, a challenge from Amanda Obanian, and she gave a $25 gift card to two piece. So I went a little crazy on paper, but I got um, I got some good stuff. So I'm going to show you the paper first, and then I'll show you all the embellishments and almost everything. I purchased was on clearance plus there was the 20% off the entire um, website at the time I ordered so sorry for the background you're just seeing the side of my craft room this is the first piece I got this is from the shoreline collection from American crafts this is from um, fancy pants this is Delilah Oops, sorry this one is from the uh, Lawn Fawn Dewey Decimal Book Fair, and I thought this would be really kind of cute to cut apart and put on cards or layouts, but I also like the red. It's a very bold red background, but I like that. This is from American Crafts. It's Amy Tangerine. Um, get Around. Sorry. This is from the Sweetest, uh, sorry, the Sweetest Thing Collection by My Mind's Eye. And I thought this was a pretty background, but then I also thought, and you'll see I bought like six of these different ones, I thought it'd be nice to cut these, fussy cut around these and use them, um, you know, on clusters. I have a thing for circular items, I don't, I don't know what it is, coming off of clusters. This is from Talisa, uh, Teresa Collins' Tell Your Story. I thought this would be a really pretty background here. All right, this I got a few uh, Christmas papers. This is Doodlebug Design North Pole, and I actually think I like the red stripe better than the polka dot, but I like both of them. <clears throat> this is from um, Amy Tangerine American Crafts Sketchbook, and it's called Crimson Charm. Thought this would be a nice layout, but I bought it for this um, to do to fussy cut around these as well. Here are another two actually from the sketchbook um, collection by Amy Tangerine. Same thing, thought I could fussy cut around these. I'm not really a huge fan of this one, so I definitely will be using the other side. But this one would be a nice background. But I think I am going to use it for the to fussy cut around those. And then this one, at first I was thinking I could fussy cut. This is Echo Park Everyday Eclectic Collection. First I thought I could fussy cut around that. But I really do like this side, so I'm not 100% sure. Some of these I could fussy cut, some of them overlap, so it would be a little bit more difficult. So we'll see what I do with that. This is, again, Everyday Eclectic by Echo Park. I was looking for brighter patterns that have more white tones. Um, this is uh, Echo Park for the record to Doily. Again, got it for the fussy cutting. This one I'm not sure. I thought about fussy cutting these. Um, this is for the record to Green Lace by Echo Park. Not a fan of this side, so I'll definitely be using this side. This is Bella Boulevard, and I got this. Um, I had something. Oh, I had. I think there were uh, labels or stickers that went with this. I can't even remember, but I love this sunshine and happiness, and I used it. You'll hear Kaylin, Kaylin in the background a little bit, but I'm definitely got this for the cut apart sheet. But there's this side. Here he is. You want to say hey? Hey. There's nobody there, is there? What? There's nobody there. Take your papa out. Hey. Hey. <laughs> he thinks we're doing FaceTime. Um, this is jelly bean soup, coconut lime pie. Um, sorry, coconut lime soup. And I thought. Hey, Bobo. I like, I love yellow patterns. I don't know why, I just think they're so nice and it's just a polka dot. But I also thought if I did, what's up? You can read a book in a minute. Hang on, let me finish this, hang on. Um, I thought I could cut these letters out and use them as tiles, but I don't know. We'll see, I really like, I got it for the yellow. I like the yellow. Again, here's some more crispa, Christmas pattern. Goodbye, you want to say goodbye to Grandma? She's not here right now, though. She's not here right now. We'll have to do FaceTime in a minute. Um, this is Echo Park Photo Freedom. This is Noelle. I got it to use for Christmas things. Just the cut apart sheet. Here's another one. 
from the Dear Santa collection um, by Echo Park. This one's called Happy Holidays. And then one more, same thing. Um, this one's called Joy. Alright, just a few more papers and then we'll move on to the embellishments. Uh, this is from Pink Paisley. This is the uh, Remarkable. Oops, upside down. There we go. I got it for this side. I thought this would be a nice, nice pieces to use on a background. All right, this is from Pink Paisley again. This is um, amazing, and it's. I don't even remember ordering this one, but I must have. I'm sure. I mean, obviously I did. I just don't remember why. It may have been for this side. This is a portfolio collection. Um, this I got to cut out the speech bubbles. This is seen and noted by P uh, Pebbles. Uh, I like this as a background. I thought it was really pretty. This is Follow Your Heart by Rona Fair. I actually don't. Oh, my my mind's eye. There we go. So I'm not familiar with her. And then the last piece I got, I got for this side because I just thought that was really pretty. Um, this is XOXO uh, True Love by American Crafts. It's a Valentine's line, I believe. Okay. So those are all the papers. I got 24 sheets of paper. Then I got um, a perfect summer. It's the Echo Park um, paper collection. This is a collection kit. So I got this and I'll show you this. And I love to buy collection packs. Um, Shortly, I'm not sure if it'll go up before this video or not, but I have another collection um, thing that I've created myself, like a kit, um, that I was going to use in between before I got while I was waiting on this one and after I used the last one. But anyways, this is the Element Sticker Sheet. A lot of really fun things. And I was having issues with most of the things I were picking out were cream-based, and I was really, I really like the crisp white look. Um, and I just did a few layouts where I mixed a lot of that on purpose, mixed the white and the cream. So I wanted a collection that was really a white, white elements in it. So it just looks cleaner and crisper to me for some reason. Uh, this is, these are the alpha stickers. And then down here, I don't know if you can see it. It's a border strip. I don't know if you can kind of see it there. But there's all these little chevron pieces that pop out so you can use it as chevrons as well. So you can use the border strip, so you'll have the negative as well as the um, the actual piece itself. All right, then we have these are the papers. This will like candles to me. Very fun and bright pieces here. And this could actually double as a Christmas paper, honestly, if you didn't use the cut parts. That's a very fun beach background to me. I have a hard time using busy, busy patterns like this. Okay. A nice blue background here. And those are those pie charts. I've seen them in a couple places, but those are really kind of cool. A reddish, pinkish wood grain. These and these are another one that I think you cut out and use. I really like this green, but also really like that. It's kind of like wavy chevrons. Kind of a mosaic type thing. But this is the reason I got there. This is one of the pieces, the uh, initial pieces that I saw before I looked at the collection pack that drew me to it. I love that. And again, like I said, I like the yellow, so there's the chevron with a very busy pattern on the other side. Like this, it's got the clean, crisp white, but then it seems to have a little bit of distressing down here in the corner, so it gives it just a little bit of dimension, but that's a really pretty background too. And the last, yep, yeah, the last piece here is this one. Very pretty. You could use it either way. But I like it this way horizontal with ice cream cones on the back. 
And so there's just the title sheet. And I always keep these to reference in case I have scraps later. I can figure out where they came from. Okay. Then I got, and again, this is my first order from TP, so I totally hit up the clearance section to get as much as possible. I got um, these buttons, which is from a flare for buttons. It's the, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the boy set. Here they are. Love this. A little honeycomb. It's like a beach ball to me. Smaller pattern, similar though. The little boy head. Again, another little honeycomb. Another pattern, the same, but in the medium size. And then this says today. Okay. Then I got these are Ormolu little labels. Elf Studio little snippets. I love these these two here or these three. These are L Studio um, little snippets, but I just thought that was so adorable. I know it looks like a little girl thing, but I'm totally gonna use it for my family layouts, which are mostly boys. Um, another one. This is you and me little snippets, and I love it. Love that that one. Hello, hello, they're handsome, and the best things in life. <clears throat> and then I really like this one. This one had a lot on it too. And this is just Sweet Life cutouts. It matches. Does it match that one? Oh no. Oh yeah, it is. Sorry, same collection. Sorry, moment there. All right. And then lastly, I got these Technique Tuesday um, story cards by Ali Edwards, and there are a ton in here. I think it said there's 24. They're double-sided. There are duplicates of a few of them, but not all of them, it looks like. But there are, I'm not going to flip through them all, but you can kind of see. Observation, remember this. Love, best and worst, overheard, memory, life, food, favorite moment, I want to remember, real life, etc. And then on the back, there's a few with the solid red at the top, and then most of them are that. So even if you don't like all those things, you can have white with just red detailing um, and put whatever sentiment you want on the top. But like I said, I have I have a lot of cream based stuff and I realize I don't like the cream based stuff as much. So that's why I got um, the white background things. And that was, I think this was only, let's see, where is it? Holy. Oh, these were $1.24. So I mean, you get 24 cards. So I thought it was definitely worth getting. But anyways, so that is my two-piece order. Um, thanks for joining me, and I'll be back to share some layouts with you soon. Bye.